Hello everyone, and welcome back to the follow-up video for the question, why do you buy or collect fragrances? It's a question that I let Stu for a little bit. I want to give people time to give their answers, and I believe most people did get their answers in, and I just wanted to go over and uh, just kind of bring to the table of what other people's, or what a bunch of people's opinions are on this subject matter. Now I want to go ahead and start off with my uh, personal opinion. When I first started collecting and buying fragrances, I had it with a very specific goal in mind. It was pretty much all about the ladies. That's it. It's I wanted to buy something that would, you know, make me more appealing to women. I had uh, a notion in my head that, you know, the better you smell or if you put on a certain fragrance, you're going to get that girl. That woman is just going to love that fragrance off and no matter what your iniquities or whatever your problems are, it will mask right over it because that scent will just draw her in. And there are two movies actually that come to mind whenever I think about like something uh, along these lines. The first one is Anchorman. Uh, if you haven't seen Anchorman, it's kind of uh, a, it's a comedian, it's a very uh, comedy heavy movie. And in it, there's one of the anchors who uh, is getting ready to go out. And uh, Will Ferrell's actually talking to him, and he goes through and opens up his fragrance cabinet. And he's got an assortment of fragrances that goes out. Uh, but one fragrance in particular called Sex Panther is one that he decides to put on. And the whole of just Will, Will Ferrell's interactions with it just, it, it has me rolling on the floor laughing. Just because almost all of the things that, you know, um, I kind of think in the back of my head or thought in the back of my head uh, that, you know, those stereotypes basically that I had of fragrances come rushing to the center on that movie and it's just absolutely hilarious. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below. I'm not going to stick it in the video just because I don't want to go through all that copyright nonsense, but uh, go ahead follow that link for the Sex Panther. That's the first link that you're going to go through. The second impression that I kind of had was from Ocean's 13. Uh, there's this scene where Matt Damon he applies this thing called the Gilroy, which is basically a pheromone type fragrance that he puts on his neck. And the minute uh, the woman that he's trying to target comes over, she gets a whiff of it. It kind of goes past her nose, something like Pepe Le Pew. And she just gets weak in the knees and immediately, she's just immediately attracted to him and she's all over him for the rest of the night. And <laughs> that is the impression that I actually had of fragrances. Over time, that has actually changed. By the way, that link will actually be down below, so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about for it. Uh, but over time, my uh, my goal of fragrances did change because as I began to you know experience different fragrances and I began to smell different things, it became more than that. It became something a fragrance that is really well constructed and connects with you personally can take you to another time. It can take you uh, to places that you've never been before. It can take you to places that you have been before. It can evoke such deep memories and overall I generally tend to wear fragrances now that will match what I'm either doing or wearing more so or far more so than I will to you know appease the opposite sex or anything like that that really isn't important to me at all anymore and i remember i used to talk about this and you'll see some arguments going back and forth uh, on the boards but you know overall that's kind of the reason uh, why i collect fragrances now everyone has very you know different reasons for collecting fragrances and i just kind of wanted to go over a couple one along those similar lines was made by df uh 393 and uh, he wrote the following. I don't buy them to pick up women or please people. I wear what I like simply for the pleasure of smelling, on, smelling it on myself. Also, it gives me something to look forward to. And that's very similar to the lines that uh, I currently wear fragrances. Now, there are other reasons to wear fragrances, and many people actually touched on it. Uh, another reason that I think is often overlooked is one of association. And a fellow reviewer actually came up with this one, and he wrote, uh, whoops, let's go ahead and get his quote, there we go. One of the many reasons I buy fragrances is for the mnemonic association. This is where red lessons, by the way, I'm sorry. Uh, one of the many reasons I buy fragrances is for the mnemonic association they have with the human psyche. Scent has the power of vividly recalling to mind the images and experiences associated with a particular smell. 
I often commemorate events by wearing fragrance that I've never worn before, only to wear it again in the future and be reminded of that wonderful time from my past. It's like wearing a nostalgia-inducing time machine around your neck. It is one of my biggest pleasures in life. He touched upon something that I uh, had unconsciously you know, thought of, but hadn't really put it into mind. Because there are, I have a myriad of scents that remind me of certain times, and there are fragrances that I actually can't wear because I may have been wearing that scent at a time where maybe things weren't going so great. And whenever I put that scent on, it reminds me of that. Or, you know, conversely, there are other ways around where there are good times, you know, and I'll remember those good times when wearing the fragrance. So what he's actively doing is something that we actively, you know, do in our lives. It, it may not necessarily be conscious that people do it, but scent is one of those invoking things that is in the background that I think we often overlook and have forgotten. He's actively doing it. This is a key and excellent quote uh, that I thought that I really wanted to share. Uh, the next item was, uh, you know, uh, obviously a lot of people wear fragrances for women. That is probably the chief driver as far as men, as far as it's pushed and marketed across, that's probably the number one driver for fragrances out there. I mean, if you look at all these ads that go out there, that's what they're designed to do. It's they're basically saying to you, if you buy this fragrance, these women will like you. These women will love you. I'm here to tell you that's not true, but that's what they actually push across for. And women do like fragrances. So it's not entirely false, but the fragrance does not make the man. The man makes the man. The fragrance just accentuates the man. All right. Uh, for first impressions. First impressions, this is also pretty good because as I touched on a little bit earlier, first impressions that you leave with fragrances or that you leave in general are, I think, overlooked on many different levels. Now, scent is such a key level that you can actually leave behind an impression without even saying a word, and he actually touches on this. This comes from Aaron Rich, is the one who actually made this quote. And he quotes, for the simple reason that I like to smell good. It's a way of introducing yourself and leaving an impression without saying a word. But even more than that, just as art is to the eye and music to the ear, so too is the craft of perfumery to the nose. Each can be manipulated to affect us in some very deep and profound ways. I like buying fragrances because they add depth, character to the ex depth and character to the experience of life. And again, another point that I hadn't really even thought of. Uh, you know, back then, you know, it's been it's been a while since I've really dived into looking fragrances, and this quote I think really. Uh, brings it you know to mind your first impression that you leave on people is often key and scent is a nice subtle way to actually leave behind an impression now the one tricky thing is you may not necessarily know what kind of impression that you're leaving just because all fragrance isn't for everyone so you may wait or wear something that you think is absolutely fantastic that most people think is fantastic but this one person may absolutely hate it and that's what they remember for you so it's always a roll of the dice so this is actually one reason why i don't wear fragrances to or i'm sorry to interviews is because no matter how good the fragrance may quote unquote seem is that i don't want to leave that bad impression more than often than not i'll wear something i'll you know if you're going to wear something i say wear something safe uh that will not offend anyone but more often than not, I, will, I don't want to leave behind any negative or have a chance of leaving behind any negative impression. And that's kind of why, you know, I usually go scentless to interviews and, you know, let my ability and let my, you know, resume, uh, you know, do the talking rather than the scent. I don't want them to come out and say, uh, yeah, this guy, absolutely great, but man, he, his, his fragrance, I just can't stand it. I mean... Obviously, most people aren't going to say that, but, you know, that's going to be in the back of their mind. So just something to keep in mind of. All right. And one of the final reasons, again, was ladies. Uh, it's a positive and 500 pound Kool-Aid man really articulated. He said, the ladies love it. That's it. So, uh, you know, all solid reasons for, you know, why people buy fragrances, why people collect fragrances. There are no right answers. There are no wrong answers. I uh, just wanted to use this video so people can get a better idea of what the potential is for wearing fragrances. Now, to see all of the responses, look at the old, uh, the video where I asked the question. You'll see a myriad of responses, all great, that you can go ahead and use. 
So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free. Leave me a message, send me a note, do whatever you got to do. Thank you. Take care of yourselves and have a great day.